Iko sawa? Iko fiti? <coughs> Mkoje watu wangu. So um sasa hizi time tuna record this video kuna game ya Manchester United na Manchester City inacheza pale nyuma. So mkisikia kelele kidogo you will excuse us kwa sababu lazima <laughs> lazima story iendelee. Si hapo sawa? Hapo sawa. Ah. So um leo story tunataka tuende wapi? Naona leo ni wapeleke pale primary school just like in the last episode. So last episode kama uja watch make sure umeangalia hiyo link iko hapo kwa description ya the whole playlist when they watch last episode. So story ya leo nawapeleka nikiwa around uh, nikiwa hapo class 6 5 hapo. Class 6 5. I think it was around hapo 2010. Around in 2010. But this time hatukuwa shuleni. This time tulikuwa nyumbani. So it was on a day tulijipata tuko nyumbani mimi my elder brother anaitwa Mike yeye ndo niliwapigia story yake nakumbuka ile story i think ilikuwa episode 2 ama 3 yeye ndo alifanyanga nikapigwa viboko juu ya kuchelewa kutoka half times nakumbuka ile story haya so leo na this story nitupata tukiwa nyumbani mimi my elder brother Mike and uh, my younger sister anaitwa Grace so at this time brother wangu alikuwa ameingia high school Kijana ameanza kuchanuka eh akitoka shuleni akuje home hiyo time nikangoma pale mzee anakaa mwana ticha pia ma redeem hiyo time ma redeem zilikuwa zime <laughs> zimechachisha kweli kweli sikia anakaa mwana tuambia eh hey, vibes katela ametoa ingo mpya uh, conscience ametoa ingo mpya so ilikuwa tu during that season hapo around 2010 2011 hapo time yenye redeem zilikuwa ndo hit song achana before genge tons ingie hiyo time redeem ndo ilikuwa bangas zile like goma za kukatika kabisa so alikuwa anazipenda mbaya sana so ilitupata mimi niko home mimi brother yangu mike na sister yangu grace dadangu mdogo so pale tukiwa pale nyumbani at this particular moment when this uh, event yenye nenda kuwapigia kwa history occurred brother yangu alikuwa pale ana fix vitu zake za muziki so um pale nyumbani kwetu um, at that time where we were living hatukuwa na stima So what happened ni tulikuwa na a solar panel yenye tulikuwa tumetumia previously kwa the old TV mnazijua zile kubwa zenye mko na charge battery then you do the connection. So at that time tulikuwa na that solar panel. So badangu akachekea kaona hii solar tunaweza itumia kusikiza muziki so that tusinunue zile dry cells batteries zile za radio kila wakati. Na cheki vile idea ilimkujia akasema ni sawa. So pale akaamua kuinishate ile connection kanunua mawaya kadhaa mita kadhaa funga kwa sola funga hiyo bezi ya battery and then now that hiyo radio yake haikuwa ina haikuwa ina za sustain your voltage inatoka kwa sola so the only thing angefanya ni kutafuta inverter so that i invert your current inatoka kwa sola ikuwe stepped down so that the current inaingia kwa radio ni kiasi but then ukicheki hiyo time say kutafuta inverter kaa hiyo bana it was very expensive so jamaki kitu alifanya alikuwa anachukua solar panel anaiweka pale alafu anachukua something like a rug ana cover half of the solar uh, of the solar panel so that jua inaaka tu hiyo bezi yenye rug haija cover that means automatically ile voltage inatoka kwa solar panel ikikuja kwa hiyo radio yake ishakuwa stepped down tumeelewana hapo hapo <laughs> sawa So this particular time yeye yeah, bado anafanya hizo connections. I think alikuwa amenua a set of new cables ama I don't know. I think alikuwa ame transition from one radio to another na ni zile radio za memory card. So alikuwa anafanya zile connections zake pale. Na personally I was a very curious person. Time brother yangu anafanya hizi vitu pia mimi pale naenda na piga piga macho na pick vitu 1 2 3 vitu 1 2 yani na ilikuwa ilu, ina arouse to curiosity yangu kucheki msa akifanya ma connections zake. So this particular moment badangu anafanya hizo connections. Mimi nimeenda hapo nimepolea na dadangu mdogo anaitwa Grace. At that time she was about 8 years. Alikuwa mdogo sana. Mimi nilikuwa about 11 years. So tuko hapo tunapolea tukicheki vile anafanya hizo connections 1 to 3. Then ah, tukaboeka kucheki hizo kazi anafanya. So tukasema ni aje. Acha tusonge kiasi hapa tuingie hii room kuna place fulani uko home penye tulikuwa naishi. Place tunaishi tunaitanga tu hiyo room ya juu. So nikasema acha tuingie hii room ya juu tupole hapo tuone itakuwa aje. So tukaingia hapo na dadangu then it happened tukapata zile 
box zile za kitambo na kumbuka ukienda high school mlikuwa mnapewa zile trunks zile box za kuweka nguo zile so tukaziseti pale so tukasema nao hizi box kuna hii box yenye ndugu yangu alikuwa anatumia high school but wamempea mpya so hii imebaki pale nyumbani tunaweza cheza ile mchezo ya kufungiana kwa box na kufungia kwa box tunacheka kidogo na kufungulia unatoka tuone nani atakaa kwa hiyo box sana unaona hiyo mchezo ah, dada yangu akasema ala hiyo iko sawa iko f- twende nayo nayo of course hapo dadangu ni mdogo wangu so idea yote yenye mimi natoa lazima akubali jo usipokubali <laughs> asipokubali tapatana raundi nyingine ah, so, so, hiyo idea ya kufungiana kwa box eh. ile unaingia kwa box mtu anakufungia unakaa kidogo alafu kisha maliza kukaa kidogo unasema lusko ikiwa mlicheza mchezo ya lusko pale <laughs> <laughs> pale primary school saa kisema lusko unachomoka mwingine anaingia kwa box kama ni hiyo wacha tucheze mchezo kwani iko nini so tukasema ah dadangu wacha ingie mtu wa kwanza juu yako na mwili ndogo na kuingia kwa box itakuwa haraka so mara hiyo hiyo tukafungua box dadangu akaingia hapo ndani ya box ah safi <laughs> so akaingia hapo nika lock box ra so this uh, trunks they work in a way that mechanism ya hiyo lock yake inaanguka chini pap then it locks into place So tumekuwa na issue kidogo hapo ya mitambo lakini tuko tuko sawa eh tuko sawa So <clears throat> after dadangu kukaa hapo kitu kama 30 seconds hivi akasema lusko so mimi nikaenda nika nikamchoma una cheki ikakuwa my turn sasa ya kuingia into the box So dadangu akatoka kwa hiyo trunk that is the metal box mimi nikaingia but then kwa sababu physically niko mkubwa kiasi kushinda dadangu eh So at that time I was uh, yeah I was uh, about 11 10 11, uh, 10 11 years and she was 8 years I guess. So kuingia kwa ile box ikakuwa ni kwamba box haiezi jilock kwa sababu physically I'm a little bit big kumshinda yeye. So yeye ni mara moja but mimi because I'm physically I'm physically big kiasi ikakuwa issue kidogo. So what she did sasa alienda aka finyilia hiyo box ndo hiyo lock fall into place. Lakini hata baada ya kufinya kufinya eh ana feel like bado. So ilibidi ni jisqueeze hapo ndani so that ikuwe mdogo ndo akafinya hiyo lock pop lock ka fall into place. After I'm a struggle kufinya hiyo uh, trunk. So at this point nikasema ah sawa. So dadangu alipiga 20 30 seconds eh. Mimi naenda 1 minute. Chapa 1 minute yangu hapo safi. Nasema ah dakika moja hizi nishinda inishinde mimi. <laughs> dakika moja hizi nishinde bana. Noma sana. So nikaingia hapo nika tukahesabu 1 2 3 nini ya. Nikakaa hapo around 30 seconds lakini nikasema acha nipitishe kidogo so that at least ni kwe ahead of my sister. So nikapitisha hapo kidogo ah ikaona ah nikiendelea kukaa hapa ndani juu mchezo unaendelea nita set record yenye itakuwa ngumu ku break. Acha hii record yangu ikuwe rahisi ku break so that bado next time ni break my record. Wakati next time after yeye yeah, ameingia and then kisha mimi niingie ni break hii record. Tunapatana hapo hapo sawa. So um nikasema Lusko sasa hiyo inamaanisha ni wakati wa mimi kutolewa kwenye trunk sasa. Ah jaribu kutoa lock hiyo ni dadangu imekataa. Nikasema eh nimesema Lusko bana sitaki record ikuwe mrefu inishinda tena ku break. Akasema najaribu kufungua ifunguke. Ila unajaribu kufungua aje tena ifunguki. So what happened ni ukifunga a box that is a metallic box kama zile za high school the one with a single lock. Ukifunga alafu lock it fall into place unafaa kuvuta hivi lock then uinue box so that it jam lock but at this particular moment kwa sababu ali squeeze ndo lock fall into place inamaanisha anafaa ku squeeze tena ndo atoe lock una check but then at this point hana hiyo fikra ya kufanya hivyo na at the same time mimi pale ndani najaribu ku struggle so nimeweka pressure juu so kumaanisha lock iwe kwa even tighter so kuitoa ikamshinda sasa So nikamuuliza ah shida iko wapi? Fungua lock. Anasema ah lock imekataa kufunguka. At this moment nikapigwa na shock man. Ah nikashtuka mbaya sana. So hapo nimeanza ku struggle na feel eh hey, hii basic or very claustrophobic. So najaribu ku struggle kiasi kiasi na mwambia eh hey, fungua lock bana lusko lusko. So kidogo nadhania na nafikiria na nifanyia mzaa but then ina ni hit yenyewe kweli haizi fungua hii lock. So najaribu hata ku struggle kiasi wapi even ina make matters worse. So at this point nikaanza ku sweat man nimeshtuka nimepigwa na mshtuko nimepigwa na shock na shindo tu what next sasa nini itafanyika after this after this point So ikakuwa hivyo na struggle wapi hii time tumegonga dakika mbili eh hey, nasema wa leo siku yangu imefika Najaribu ku struggle na struggle najaribu ku 
jifinya ni ji make small so that afungwe at this point that at jagundua like that's the problem so that dangu na yana struggle na lo kukunje na sikia tu lo kifanya ka 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 eh hapa ndani joto imeanza kuwa mingi yani after nimeshtuka in fact sasa ndo like anxiety yangu imeenda juu na feel tu i need to get out, out of this place mwili imeanza ku react tu na feel tu ni kama niko very uncomfortable ah nikajua hapa hapa kumeharibika So mimi huyo ndo struggle eh hey, kumeharibika wapi na struggle wapi tumegonga dakika tatu hivi hai nikajua hapa mimi kuisha man hapa kuisha juu sasa nitafanya aje like najaribu ku move imekataa so sasa hivi nimekuwa too still nime sweat literally i've sweated so much at this point nasikia hadi mifupa imeisha so mimi nasema tu ah kama ni kuenda leo oh, leo ndo naenda <laughs> kama ni kuenda hii ndo time sasa mimi naenda hai so Nikijaribu kusikizia nje labda na Isaita brother yangu ngoma nayo na jamaa sha, chapa connection yake pale ya sola ngoma sasa inachuna kweli kweli <laughs> ngoma iko juu 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 so hadi yeye asikia juu anything inaendelea kwa keja so nikajua wa hapa hapa imekuwa noma sana so by luck dadangu ikam hit kuna mtu hapa nje mwenye ako more powerful mwenye anaza disengage lock So dadangu akachapa 1 2 3 akaenda akaita ndugu yangu ndugu yangu naye akamuuliza ah ni nini hata bado ashikandishi nini naendelea na mwambie ati nimefungia Alan kwa box ameshindwa kutoka asu unafungiaje Alan kwa box enda umtoe so dadangu anamwambia zi man zi nao ni noma amekwama bana amekwama literally niko serious ngongo ala aya twende so ndo anakam ndugu yangu akafinya hiyo na ka disengage lock kufungua hiyo lock kitu ya kwanza ni nilitoka hapo ndani tu like si hii si i'm not feeling my body na, nika nimekaa nimelewa yani like na kitu nime si i'm not myself like i was almost losing consciousness so nikakuja nika chill tu hapo nje kwanza ni regain to my being cause at this point mimi nilikuwa nime uh, nilikuwa juu nime step out of this world ah ilikuwa noma so nika chill hapo dakika kadhaa kwanza eh ndo nikaanza ku feel fit kiasi eh ka feel fit kiasi then nika step out of your uh, box nika chill hapo hey maana stretch nasema ha leo then that was the closest i came at to dying man cuz nilikuwa nimeenda mimi ah kwa nasikia wasana nasema uh, i have fear uh, claustrophobia fear of tight spaces hiyo ndo time ile ni hit yenyewe hiki tu kwa it's a thing man it's a thing so ukisikia msa kwa nakwambia bana ako claustrophobic man ebu respect special huyo mtu man because this thing literally inaweza kuua walai so ah hiyo ni story yangu ya leo man ili kuwa noma sana kai mimi kumbuka hiyo time nasema ha sita why tamani moment ingine kama hiyo inifanyikie sita why hata these days tu nikiona watu huyu anacheza places ziko tight ama naona mtu huyu anacheza na mtu fulani na to some extent anafanya mtu yana kuwa uncomfortable ah mi who intervene mara moja cause nishaikuwa kwa situation kayo na ilikuwa noma man ilikuwa noma sana so kama uja watch life after life episode 5 um episode 6 kuna playlist hapa kwa description na kumbuka tulifanya life after life ikuwe series so that means kuna episode 1 saizi and this is the seventh episode so it's a series season 1 tunaendelea tunaenda kuenda eh So kama uja watch the other episodes man you will laugh like you laugh utakuwa entertained utakuwa very much entertained playlist mzima iko hapa kwa description and anza na episode one. how i started my media company hadi saa hizi si hapo tuko sawa si tuonane next time wadau hapo fiti very nice